So it's the start of May and summer is just around the corner and it's nearly above 10 degrees in Scotland, but that's not enough. You go, decide to go traveling or on holiday and you want some light, affordable camera gear to capture every second of your journey. Well, this video is here to do exactly that and give you some perfect solutions, all to fit inside an average size backpack and under a thousand pounds sterling or $1,300 for our American viewers. So keep watching as I tell you exactly what you'll need. So, let's start with some gear that we know best here at EDC and that will of course be a trusty drone. One that's small, user friendly, great picture quality and that can have a good battery life, well, look no further than the DJI Mini SE. This drone comes in at £359 for the Fly More combo, so you're going to get three batteries, spare cables, props, and a nice bag to have it all packed up and ready to go on adventures with. It shoots an incredible 2.7K, it has a transmission range of 7 kilometers, and it comes with built-in features that are great for people who have never used a drone before. You'll get a whopping 30 minutes max flight time for each battery, so that's one and a half hours of your day in the air. With this, you'll also need a micro SD card and you can pick up a 64 gigabyte one for just 14.99. This one isn't 64 gigabytes, but just imagine it is. So there you have it, the DJI Mini SE, the perfect drone for your traveling wherever you may be going. Next you'll need is a camera. So, let's talk about cameras for your trip. And realistically, I've given this one a lot of thought and I think anything like a cheap DSLR is out the window. We don't have the budget for that. And quite frankly, I think you're better with an action camera. And I've not gone for the GoPro. In fact, I've gone for something slightly different. The Insta360 ONE X2. Yes, this is a 360 camera with endless possibilities and the only limit is your creativity. So this thing can shoot up to 5.7K all around. Incredible. It has a flow state inbuilt stabilization, a high bright touch screen for making sure your shots are looking good. As well as this, it's waterproof to up to 10 meters and it has a four mic surround sound audio. Incredible. You're probably wondering where this is all gonna come to. What it's all gonna come to, where it's all gonna. So you're probably wondering, this sounds like an expensive bit of kit, Jack. This can't be in budget. Well, it is, and it's coming with a bundle. So with the bundle, you're gonna get the camera, a case, a selfie stick and a 128 gigabyte SD card, micro SD of course, and all for only 471 pounds and 84 pence. Incredible. Now it's time to show you all the great features that the Insta360 ONE X2 can offer. Just a quick tip, I suggest you check out a video by Gimbal Guru who talks about all the great things it can do, as I'm not gonna have time to show every single one, but if you do end up getting this piece of kit, then definitely make sure to check that out. Okay, if you're like me, you like playing tennis when you're abroad uh, in the sun. It's not very sunny, so I'm just going to put a nice color grade over this. I've got my friend Jack from school uh, who plays a bit of tennis here and there. Here and there. <laughs> here and there. And um, we're just going to be chesting the Insta360 above the net and then the idea is to kind of follow the ball, uh, see how it goes. And to help hold the Insta360 up, we've got a Manofrotto tripod, which is your next bit of kit. And that comes in at £114. So we're going to test the sturdiness of this and also the sturdiness of the Insta360 because Jack's most likely going to try and hit it. If any equipment's broken, he pays for it. No. Okay, let's have a go. Oh, 
Yeah, I think that came off pretty well. Don't do that. I'm I forgot it sees me. It sees all around. <laughs> Idiot. Came off pretty well and I won the point, so we're definitely just going to end it there. All uh, right, now we're going to cut to the final two bits of kit up the hills somewhere. So I'm just doing a bit of hill walking now. A likely setting if you're traveling or on holiday, you might be doing a bit of mountain biking, but my final two pieces of gear are gonna make active things like this much easier for you. One to make your kit a bit more compact, another to get some interesting angles and it's a nifty bit of kit. So let's introduce you to them. You may notice that I'm currently using the 360 camera, but you're probably wondering, how the hell does I get it up there? Well, this is our next bit of kit, and this is the Gorilla Pod, or the Gorilla Tripod. This is a classic sort of bit of kit that everyone normally has hanging around for things such as like this, really, attaching it to trees, attaching it to bikes for a POV type shot, or, you know, low down shots, instead of getting the whole tripod out, just quickly setting it up Bish Bash Bosh. It's a great bit of kit and it only comes in at £14.97. I'm gonna double check that. <laughs> Should have been confident. It is only £14.97 and I definitely suggest you pick it up. It works great with the Insta360, good for vlogging. I know you've got the selfie stick, of course, but the selfie stick's good because it extends and it can do different things. The Gorilla Pod's good because it can just attach onto something nice and easily if you're wanting to demonstrate something or perform some sort of activity. So here's me vlogging with it. As I'm walking along, you can see the flow state stabilization working well, the Insta360. And I'm just making my way to the next location to introduce you to the last and final bit of kit to tie everything nicely together. So here is your final bit of kit. And yes, it's a nice lightweight camera bag. This is the Andorra camera bag that comes in at 20 pounds and 99 pence. And I know you're thinking, Jack, but we haven't got a camera. It's not been in the video. Well, that's just because this is a nifty bit of kit for carrying everything that's in the video. You're gonna be able to fit the mini SE, its controller, the two extra batteries, the Insta360, and a little pouch to keep all your SD cards, micro SD cards, all micro SD cards in it, nice and simple. Wraps up, goes on the shoulder, and can fit at the bottom of a rucksack with still space for the tripod and the gorilla pod. Does it get any better than this? It doesn't. So that's your final bit of kit to sort of wrap everything nicely together for keeping everything as lightweight as possible, but still having the two cases bought with the original products to keep everything nice and neat when you're not out filming. So let's conclude and discuss everything that you've bought and show you exactly what you've got, rack it up, and show you that it is at just under a thousand pounds. So, to wrap everything up, you've got your Mini SE Flymore combo for £359, along with the Micro SD 64GB for £14.99. You've got your Insta360 bundle for just over £471. Then your Manafrotto tripod, which unfortunately I'm using right now, but you know what it looks like by now, just coming in at £114. Then your Gorilla tripod, which is just under £15. And finally, as I just mentioned, your Andorra camera bag, which is also just under £15. And altogether, that's going to come to £995.79. Pretty close, but I told you it'd be under 1000 And you might even have enough left for a pint at the pub after a day's filming, depending on where you're filming. Unless it's any of these countries you'll see here. And these prices are based on 2021, so don't quote me on this. Hopefully you're going somewhere cheap, uh, probably will be if you end up buying all this. But anyway, get out there, get
get filming, have fun with all this gear. I use it all the time and I still have endless fun looking back at shots and playing with it. If you enjoyed some of what I've talked about here, give it a like and subscribe, helps us out a lot. And um, let us know how you get on with the kit in the comments.